in today's 21st century, one of the worst things, or rather the worst thing that can happen to any man is to accept to be a sin. As a man, if you accept or if you are comfortable being a sin, people will use you, people will take advantage of you, and they will throw you away after they are done using you, most especially women. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how you can go from being a sin to becoming an alpha. Watch this video to the end to find out how you can go from a sin to an alpha. Number one way to go from being a sin to becoming an alpha is you must have a burning desire to improve your finances. You must have multiple sources of income. You must not rely on one job. One of the worst things that can happen to any man is to rely on one job, a job that you're not even sure of, a job that you wake up every day fearing that they could sack you. Once you are a guy who has limited finances, it will affect your self-confidence. It will affect your self-esteem. Because, because, because due to the fact that you have only one, one source of income, your employer can talk to you anyhow. They can threaten you. They can insult you. They can make you feel less of a man. And you can't talk. You can't do anything about it because that is your only source of income. If you lose that job, you might go hungry for a long time. So you end up tolerating all those things, which end up affecting your self-esteem as a man. If you want to become an alpha male, the first thing you have to work on is your finances, is your money. One of the things that make men, in fact, the thing that make men the most confident is when they are financially stable. A man who is not financially stable will never be as confident as a man who is financially stable. As a man, one thing that makes you a man in the eyes of society, in fact, the major thing that makes you a man, this is fact, reality. The thing that makes you a man in the eyes of society is money. Not, not, like, not that you'll be wealthy, but that you are comfortable. You don't go around begging people for money. You don't go around telling people to borrow you money, which will make them start looking down on you and, and probably start disrespecting you. So one of the first things you should do if you want to go from being a sim to becoming an alpha male is work on your finances. Have this burning desire to improve your finances. Have this burning desire to get better financially. Have this burning desire to have multiple sources of income. When you have multiple sources of income, nobody can threaten you. Nobody can talk to you anyhow because you can easily tell that person, you know what? To hell with your job. I'm not doing it again. You walk away because you have other things that give you money. You cannot tolerate any disrespect from anybody, from any employer. This is why you should have multiple sources of income. It helps you. It beats your confidence. It beats your self-esteem. And it makes you the real alpha male. Because an alpha male, you cannot be an alpha male and you're afraid that somebody will wake up one morning and sack you. And you're afraid that you go to your boss's office and they'll talk to you anyhow and you will endure it all because you don't have any other place to get money from. You must have multiple sources of income. And then that is where you can truly become an alpha. The second thing you have to do if you want to go from being the same to becoming an alpha is you must understand the value of your time. The most valuable asset we as human beings have in our lives is time. Once you understand the value of your time, most people around you will start respecting you more because you now believe that your time is invaluable. Your time is priceless. Alpha males don't tolerate time wasters. Whether they are dealing with women, they are dealing with family members, they are dealing with business partners, they don't tolerate time wasters. Once you begin to place value on your time, once you begin to attach extreme importance to your time, people around you will respect you and people will not start valuing you more and they will not start seeing you as an alpha. And you yourself will not start seeing yourself as a true alpha. Most times, sims don't value their time. A girl will play them, play them, play them, waste their time and manipulate them and use them and they will not, they will not have the common sense to realize that this girl is simply wasting my time. But a true alpha male, once he knows that you are trying to waste his time, he calls you out and he cuts you off because he's an alpha male. An alpha male knows the value of his time. He would rather spend his time doing productive things, things that will add more value to his life and to his growth than be with a time waster, be it a woman, a family member, or business partners. An alpha understands the value of his time. And that is why people respect him. The third thing that you should do if you want to go from being a sin to becoming an alpha is you must understand your value in comparison to the opposite sex. 
the biggest reason why most men become simps or same to, to women is because they don't even understand their own value as men. As a man, you are the price. That's the simple truth. Forget all the nonsense, all the blah, blah, blah people are saying on social media, especially confused women. As a man, you bring more value to the table. Okay, ask yourself this question. The last time you were, you, you dated a girl, or if you are currently dating a woman, who spends more? Is you. Is you as a guy, you spend more. Who invests more of his time? Most likely it is you. Who calls the other person more often? Most likely it's you. Who tries to protect the other person? Most likely it's you. Who tries to bring, make the relationship fun? Most likely it's you. So, when you compare the two of you, who brings more value? Most likely you are the one bringing over 80% of the value in that relationship. So, why are you now seeing yourself as being lower compared to your woman, which would not make it sense for her? Understand your value as a man because you bring over 80% of that value in that relationship. So that means you are the price. And women, in, in your subconscious mind, you, you should always feel that women should respect you more. Women should always respect you. Because if you don't see yourself as someone that should be respected by women, women can never respect you. People see you the way you see yourself. If you see yourself as a low life, women will see you as a low life. But if you see yourself as a guy, as a man of value, every woman you, that comes around you will sense that image around you. That this guy is a man of value. And I have to respect him because he's placed that value on yourself. As a man who is the prize, you don't tolerate nonsense for women. She misbehaves, you go your way. You have to constantly be in, a, in an abundance mindset. Have this mentality that I bring more value to the table. If this girl messes up, I bounce. I go to the next girl. Number four, our fans don't try to impress anybody. You like them or you don't like them. It's none of their business. Now, if you want to go from being a sim to becoming an alpha, one thing you must internalize in your mind, in your mentality, in your brain, is that no matter what you do in this life, people will like you and people will hate you. So, if you want to go from being a sim to an alpha, you must have this mentality that you don't care about anybody. If they like you, good. If they don't, if they don't like you, good. But you never try to impress anybody. One of the major characteristics of sims is that sims are always trying to please people. Sims always try to impress people. They always want everyone to like them. But alphas, they don't give a damn. You like them, good for you. You don't like them, good for you. The next way you can go from being a sim to becoming an alpha is you must have long-term goals. You must have a vision about your life. You must have ambitions. The major characteristics of alpha males is that they're always ambitious. They have long-term goals. They are visionaries. They, are, they, are, they have visions. Of where they want to be in the next five years, in the next ten years. Majority of people who succeed in life are always alpha males. Do you know why? Every alpha male is ambitious. Every alpha male has that fire in him to not want to settle for being an average guy. So if you want to go from being a sim to an alpha, you must have long-term goals. Don't just think about today. Don't think about how you eat. Don't think about how you scam people and eat today. Think long term. And one of the one of the major characteristics of someone who thinks long time that they always protect their name with everything they have because your name is part of playing the long term game if people hear tomorrow chukuka if you think about a guy who is honest a guy i can do business with but if i was thinking short term, short term how i will buy a car today without thinking about my tomorrow i can spoil my name and buy the car but tomorrow i'll not be able to play that long term game which requires me to have a good name so as, an, as someone who wants to go from the same to becoming an alpha, you must have long-term goals. You must be, you must, you must have visions. Plan your life. Yeah, they want to be in the next five years. What things can I do daily to achieve my long-term goals? This will not only make you confident and happy with yourself, but it will also keep you busy.